Well, it's Friday. It's a beautiful day. A little teeny bit of breeze from the north, northeast, or east, northeast. A little breezy for the bay. I, uh... Let's see, where should I start at? Let's start off with uh, yesterday when I got home. When I uh, got ready to pick my put my knife gear back up from the Whole Foods thing. I noticed uh, that. The hot water heater, I shouldn't say my hot water, Chris's hot water heater has a leak. The water around here does something to the hot water heaters. You only get three or four years out of them, five years out of them. This was put in in uh, 2000 and six so it's lasted eight years which is about the same time frame as the one we had before if I remember correctly but the man is coming out to put it in put a new one in today so I'm trapped in the Rancho Max once more he's it's a little after 12 he's supposed to be here a shade after water so and I think that's when the tide is low uh, let me think about that. But anyway, I'm going to miss the tide. I'm not going to go to take it, I don't think. So I had some business cards. I went over and picked those up from the guy that does them. He said, hey, can you sharpen blades? I got a paper cutter blade. I said, yeah. Stand by a minute. Let me get this ticket out. Guillotine blade. It's a 16 inches long, chisel shaped blade. You know, flat on the back, sharp on the front chisels on the front. I guess it's got one or two little nicks in the front on one side of it, the other side of it is okay. It's not really dull, it's just got a few bad places on it. I'm going to clean it up for him and sharpen it up. We're going to do a little bartering. Sharpening for cards, which works out good for me. And now, let's see what else I got today. Stand by. I don't know what I did with the package. I had it over. I went over to Jenny's this morning and we put the uh, New Shield uh, day view screen on our CTXs. For those of you who own them, you know they're hard to see in the direct sunlight. But with this day view thing on, this is in the bright sunlight, as you can see, outside. Sun shining. You can see it's just as clear as you want, even with glasses on. Look at that. Look at that. Any way you look at it, you can see it. You get two pack, two pieces for 14 bucks for change. I forget how much it costs. Two dollars for eight or something like that. I took one piece over to him. I mean, I gave him one piece and I used the other piece. So we stuck that on there. It's called New Shield. New Shield makes it. NU Shield. It's called uh, Day View. I used it on my other CTX when I had it. After I found out you couldn't see the screen in the summertime. Okay, I'll get back to you. I'm trapped at Rancho Max. I do have to go out this afternoon and see my cousin. You know, the ones in hospice. And I got to pick up a rotary lawnmower from a lady to sharpen it for. Made by uh, Taylor's. They got a kit they sell for. She bought the kit. I mean, Scott's. People make the yards, cedars, and all. You know, they make a push lawnmower, different widths. I don't forget, but I think hers is 18 inches, but I'm going to pick it up this afternoon after the plumber leaves. So I'll be home doing this and that. Stand by. Jackie's laying there right by the air conditioner vent. He'd he like to get in there, he said. You like it, don't you? Well, it's 2.14, and the man just pulled in the driveway. We'll see how long it takes. Stand by. Here's my test thing. I have a piece of rope with stuff wire tied on it. There's a ring there. There's a piece of gray matter there. There's a silver ring there. I think that's the tungsten ring there. And right here, I have a little teeny gold charm I found six or seven years ago with my Excalibur. Most detectors I got won't even pick it up. 
E-Track will pick it up in the SC Pro. I don't know that the E-Track will pick it up. I mean, I don't know that the uh, Excal will pick it up. While I've been working with the plumber, I mean, waiting on the plumber, I've been in the exchange. All my stuff was still loaded in there from 2012. So I've been uh, updating some of that. I put my six cents coin program, I mean my six cents coil program in that I used yesterday. I modified it a little bit. I went to Ferris Coin. I watched one of Joe DiMarco's uh, videos when he was using his in that iron area up there where he lives. So I went to two tones. I was using two tones anyway. I went to two tones and I changed the tones to 75 and 600. What else did I do to it? Like I said, I changed it from ground coin to ferrous coin. And changed the tone. That's the only thing I did to it. I'm just getting ready to check it out here. But why, 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 the reason I came out here was, you know, uh, let's see, today's Friday. Uh, six, five days from today is when I go to the doctor and get my ear whacked off. Or part of my ear, so I don't know how much that, what that means yet, but... So I've been experimenting with these uh, earbuds. Come out of there. Now these are the earbuds that I found last week on the, in the bay, if you remember, a week before last maybe now. These are Samsung earbuds. And though they were submerged, and I don't know for how long, I just found them floating in the waves. They work really nice. The switch doesn't work as far as the volume control, but the headphones work. You can see a little touch of rust right there coming out of the back of that plug. Off and on switch did work, but it don't work now, but they, they do work. They work pretty good. I bought these at the at Dick's the other day. They got different size uh, ear doodads and red things, the ear sizers or whatever you call them. I used those yesterday. And I put my uh, ear muffs on that I had with my uh, weed whacker, you know, just plain silencers, I guess they call them. I use those at NADA with these, with these same buds. Yesterday I didn't use any earmuffs, I just used these red buds for that three hour hunt or however long it was. And they worked okay, but my ears got terribly sunburned. God, which I knew was going to happen. I'm going to have to buy me a wide brim hat. Uh, Last night I came home, and since we got all these new iPhones, I took the iPhones, the, the uh, Apple iPhones, which are really nice, and I uh, I played around with them. I really like them. They not waterproof, of course, but I got four pair of them. So if one goes bad, I'll just plug another pair in. Keep on going. I don't know how long they'll last. I mean, I don't take many waves crashing over my head, especially, you know, once in a while if you go to the Northern Territory or if you get messed up at the beach, you get a wave or two over your head, but I don't think I'll be hunting with the X, with the, uh, what do you call that thing, the CTX anyway, I'll be using my Excalibur in the big waves. So I'm going to use these for as long as they'll last. And like I said, i got three more pair of them, and they're really comfortable. You sit right in your ear, lock right in there, perfect. Good tone. I mean, it really got better tone than either three of these, these these crappy damn things. I mean, the one that's free I've had, and those ones I bought for 29 bucks. Jack's over there in the bushes looking for squirrels or rabbits. We have a few of those. His tennis balls are scattered everywhere. Rod Laver. Okay. I'm just waiting on the plumber, ranting. Got nothing else to do. It's a beautiful day. I'm trapped. God! My little old fig tree, she's coming right along now. I'll get back to you when the plumber's done. D-O-N-E. Well, I got 
Got the lawnmower. 14 inch Scotch turf. I tried it a little bit in my, in my yard. It don't seem too dull. But my grass is pretty good. It's a little harder pushing the grass a little bit tall, you see, but she wants it a little lower and sharper. I guess that's what I'll do Saturday afternoon, maybe. But it looks like to me, I gotta cut this damn grass. I might have to wait till Sunday. It's not too bad, but it's not as nice as I'd like it. You remember uh, one day last week, Denny was having trouble with his Excalibur, it didn't work. One day we went to the beach, he had to go home and get his E-Track. Well, he had a bad battery wire from the uh, plug back to the battery somewhere the wire was bad. So we told him to take it over to the electronics guy we got and get him to fix it. He said, no, it's still on the warranty. I'm going to send it in. I said, okay. I said to myself, hmm, that goes three or four weeks. You know how long it took? Seven days. Eight days, I mean, round trip. Eight days to get it fixed. I can't believe it. I never even heard of such a thing from my lab. Now, usually two or three weeks. That's pretty damn good. Eight days, round trip.